The Action Replay cartridge is a series of cartridges developed by a UK-based electronics manufacturer, Daytel. The cartridge was originally developed for the Commodore 64 and Amiga, and was Daytel's greatest commercial success. It was first released in 1986, with several updates over the years. With the release of version 4.0 hardware and software, this quickly made the Action Replay and its various clones a de facto standard for most Commodore 64 seniors and users. One of the main features of the cartridge is the ability to freeze a game or program in place, allowing you to make changes to the computer's memory, and also the ability to save a copy of the program to disc or tape. So here it is, April 2017, and why am I talking about the Action Replay cartridge, or why am I even discussing it in this day and age? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I've always been interested in the Commodore 64, going all the way back to the 80s when the machine first came out which I got not too long afterwards. However, the Action Replay cartridge was never on my radar. It was never a device that I've used, so it's relatively new to me. And so what put it on my radar? Well, there's a terrific little fanzine called Freeze 64, and it's a UK-based fanzine slash magazine. And in the first couple of issues, they go into great detail on the Action Replay cartridge. They demonstrate both the physical cartridge and the emulated software cartridge. They show a couple of ways to use the Action Replay cartridge via emulation. A large focus of the fanzine is dedicated to hacking games based on using a cartridge-like Action Replay. Now I know there's a couple of competing cartridges that do a similar thing to this, such as the Commodore 1541 Ultimate 2 and the Ultimate 2 Plus, which have an Action Replay cartridge ROM built into them which will allow you to freeze games and do the pokes and so on and so forth. So that's what got me interested in this thing, the fanzine, and you have got to check it out, it's terrific. Now when I mention hack a game, I simply mean implementing hacks such as allowing your character to go through walls, granting infinite lives, increasing hit damage, modifying a play field, freezing enemies, double jumping, and the list goes on and on. There's just so much this thing can do. So let's get started with a few hack demonstrations using my 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus, and following that I'll demonstrate a few more hacks using an emulated action replay cartridge ROM which I downloaded from the Freeze64 fanzine website. I'll use WinVice as well as CCS64 emulator for this part of the demonstration. For the first demonstration I thought I'd use my Commodore 64C computer with a 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus cartridge plugged in. We're not doing any of the cracks from the crack, crack tro screen or the trainer. So I'm going to say no. Oh good. No. No. F7 to begin game. Now I'm going to freeze the game right there. And in the Freeze magazine, issue two, page six, there's a couple of pokes that we can do that will prevent the baddies from hurting us. So I'm going to press E to enter the pokes. The first one is 10722,9, and then the second one is 10743,9. So let's just start. Let's just start with those two. F3 to continue play. Oh, I gotta put my joystick in the right port. See, now he no longer hurts me. Before that poke, he I would have been dead right there. But they are still chasing me. You notice they're chasing me? If I move to the left, if I move to the right, they chase me. So let's freeze the game. I'm going to push the left button on my Ultimate 2 Plus. And then I'm going to enter some more pokes by pressing E. And this time I'm going to make them so they don't chase me. So using... Free 64 Magazine, Issue 2, Page 6, Poke, 8, 9, 6, 8, comma, 0. And then F3. Let's see if they chase me anymore. Now they don't care about me. So this is a quick example of using the Action Replay cartridge um, to hack 
Bruce Lee directly from the Freeze 64 magazine, just the way they described. And of course, there are a lot more hacks that you can do um, described in, in, in that magazine. So I'm gonna press the middle button on the 64 Ultimate. <clears throat> and let's go back into the action replay menu. Now there's of course other things you can do in the action replay other than just poking. You can do M for monitor and you can look at certain memory locations. You can get a D for directory. And you can see the Bruce Lee uh, is on a uh, mounted the Bruce Lee disc. You can do V to view sprites. Q to quit. It has a picture save, which I've never used. It's in the wrong graphics mode. It has something which is a turbo linker, which I don't know I don't know how to use that. It has a sprite killer and a poke finder. Now the poke finder will supposedly give you infinite lives. It will tell you how possible poke locations that you can try, which may or may not help you at all. <laughs> I'd much rather rely on the Free64 magazine. They've done all the research. And then the other thing you can do is this backup. You can hit F1 and start a backup utility. The backup utility is a nifty way of saving all your changes. You could save your game in progress. So you have to have your disk mounted that you want to save to. And then you, you can use option either A, B, or C to save the game to the disk. And if you hit save, you give it a file name it will save a, basically the entire contents of memory to tape or to disk depending upon which option you use. So now let's switch over to the emulation demo. Alright, to start with I am using the CCS64 emulator version 3.9.2 and in Free64 magazine page 20 on the first issue page 20 they have a download link which will download the Action Replay cartridge software. So just follow that link to download that and save it someplace where you can access it from your um, emulator. And then you gotta tell the emulator to use that cartridge. And to do that you press, you can either press F9 or go into the menu and go to the cartridge, insert a cartridge, And then I have it on here, Action Replay 7.5. And then as soon as you hit Enter, it loads up the Action Replay cartridge. Now from here, you want to mount or load a game. And you can do that from going up here and doing Load and Run. And what I've decided to do is load, follow along with issue 5 of Freeze Magazine, page 28. I'm going to try Demon Attack. Now this is an interesting one because you're not, this one, this little hack doesn't give you free lives or uh, it's not really a cheat at all. Now I've had some difficulty with this emulator using the joystick so I'm going to use the keyboard and let's play the game for a second and you'll see what it is. Oh, I gotta get my keys down. There we go. So this background is really annoying on this particular game. And so I, I totally understand why <laughs> they want to do is hack the game to remove the background image. So we're gonna hit Alt F to freeze the game using this emulator. 
And then rather than going into E to do the pokes, we're going to go M to do monitor. And then there's a, a command. They have three commands for us to do. F 2000 space 3B 3FFF space 00, zero enter. And what this does is it fills those memory locations. So we're saying fill memory location 9000 through BFFF space and fill it with zero. And then there's one more EC80 to FDFF. We'll fill all three of those with zero. Now, when you're done in the monitor, you hit X to exit. And then to go back into, to continue the game, you press F7. And you see immediately, I gotta get my keys down. Oh, immediately the image is gone. And now the game is actually way more playable. So this is, a, this is an actual example of improving the game. <laughs> I, although I think um, the developer would disagree. So, all right. So now we're going to go into an example of uh, using the Vice emulator. So let's open up Vice. All right. I've started up the Vice emulator, and now we're going to try to use. I'm using Vice version 2.4, and in my first attempt to use the same actual cartridge image that we used in the last segment, it did not work. Uh, let's tr let me show you what it does. So attach a cartridge image, and let's go D drive. And if I use that same one, I get this invalid cartridge image. And I really don't know enough about the Vice 64, the Vice WinVice to know why it's doing that. Now I did fi fi figure out a a workaround for that, and that was on a Lemon 64 website, and they had an alternate version of the cartridge image there, and this image actually works. And this one's on my desktop, and I just change change the name a little bit. And I've been using that for my emulator for Vice. And then the other thing you want to do, you want to be sure to check set cartridges default, and that way it comes up all the time. So if you're continuing to do these hacks. And then the game that we want to hack right now is Barnsley Badger. Or at least that's the one I'm going to try to hack. Now that we have the action replay cartridge up, I'm going to go ahead and mount. Barnsley Badger. And this is a really cool game, and I was able to get this off of the Kickstarter for the Commodore 64 in, pix in pixels. And then all you do to start the game on this is to press the, the fire button. And you'll see I can't go through the walls. When I jump, I can only do a single jump. And if I touch the snail there, I will die. But let's show you. So I died right there. So the first poke we're going to do, I'm going to do Alt-Z. So on, on Win Vice, it's Alt-Z to do a freeze. And then the first poke we're going to do is for in, invincibility. So 1, 3, 7, 50, comma, 0. Now, when I press F7, I shouldn't be hurt by the snail. Look at that. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? All right. So the next one we're going to try, Alt-Z to freeze. The next one I want to try, I'm going to press E to poke, is the double jump, 3012, comma 1. 
And I'm going to press F7 to continue playing the game. So that, now I can double jump. Now, I probably would have had to do some, a lot to earn that, to earn that ability. Well, I shouldn't be afraid of these. I can go right through them. Now, the next one is to walk through the walls. So I'm going to press Alt-Z to freeze, E to poke, and to walk through walls, there's actually three of them. So 10697, comma, 0, 11024, comma, 0, 11036, comma, 0. Now, according to Freeze Magazine, I should be able to go through the walls. And I'm working off of issue 1 now, page 9, for the Barnsley Badger hacks. So I'm going to press F7 to restart the game. And look at that, I can go right through that wall. I could not go through the walls before. And even though I have invincibility, I'll still die if I fall in this pit here. <laughs> Let me freeze the game, Alt-Z. Pretty much those are all the, uh, all the examples I wanted to show in this video and I appreciate you watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.